hail and welcome to this special episode of Midgard Musings. My name is Jesse, and as always, I'm the host here on this channel. Uh, I upload weekly videos, usually subjects containing uh, discussions around Norse heathenry, uh, Germanic paganism in general. And um, this is my channel, so if you like that type of stuff, I invite you to please subscribe down below. And if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you click the bell for notifications and you will get alerted every time that I upload new content. Uh, today's video is just, just going to be a real quick, I say real quick, it's going to be semi-quick, um, just uh, me sharing with all of you um, some of the footage that I got uh, last night. Um, today is April 8th and April 7th was the big supermoon, um, what were called the, uh, what was being called the pink moon. It was a huge, very bright, illuminating uh, full moon last night and um, took some, uh, some video of it and a video around the fire. It was a very special night um, for me specifically and for my wife. We, we shared a very uh, important moment in our both of our spiritualities even though she doesn't quite follow the same exact thing that I do uh, we both had a m tremendous amount of positive uh, spiritual experiences um, so that, just to give you guys a quick background before we jump into the presentation of, of what I'm going to show you um, real quick you know uh, the the full moon cycles um, as we know it at least the ancient heathens the arch heathens um, kind of kept track of time uh, based on a lunar system, right? They were as a, it was a lunar-based calendar, so their cycles and times of events and things that happened were lunar-based. So the full moons were the, were the sort of timekeeping measurement that they had for those long periods of time. And this month's moon, the, the Goa month, uh, is the moon of uh, the Goa month, uh, this month here, at least so far as we've been able to determine historically speaking. And uh, right around this time of year would be where we see historical um, documentation to support the celebration of the uh, one of the three major holy tides in historical Hebrew, that being the Sigur Blot, uh, or Victory Blot. Um, if I remember correctly, it was uh, mentioned in the Englinga Saga, which uh, once I find it, you should see it somewhere, somewhere up here on the screen, just so that way you can uh, reference it and I'll try to also put it down in the description below but um, victory blood right the first day of what the Norse recognized as the first day of summer of course here in North America we tend to typically have four different seasons although here in Tennessee it's usually summer and not summer <laughs> um, but so here we are right uh, for me at least uh, in, in my view of the world uh, this is the start of the end the end of the winter and the start of the summer, the start of the noon. So it was a very important and pivotal time to be spending. Um, did a bunch of uh, some, you know, did some ritual work, um, charged uh, some rune stones, actually made a rune set and charged that rune set. More details on that will be coming at the end of this video. And um, it did some other stuff, uh, my wife and I did, and uh, just had a wonderful uh, experience, uh, especially right now, given the climate of the world. When I say climate, I mean the whole pandemic thing, um, where everybody's stuck in and, and told to, you know, social distance and isolate and quarantine and all this kind of stuff. It was great to be outdoors and, you know, just bask in the light of money, uh, of the moon. So I hope you guys like what I'm about to show you. Please forgive the unsteady camera uh, shakes here or there that you may see. I am not a professional cameraman by any means, so. I did the best I could. Um, it's basically just going to be some showing you of the fire and, and the, uh, the moon in the sky and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy it. Please stick around until after that part at the end of this video where I go into what I just mentioned earlier about the rune set because uh, I got some fun things to, to talk to you about that. So stick around, enjoy, and I'll see you guys here in just a few.
hope you enjoyed that little glimpse. If you uh, weren't able to make it out to see the full moon last night or if, or if the sky was too concealed, as you can tell maybe by some of the video footage that I got, uh, we did have a lot of cloud cover here in, in, in my part of Tennessee. Uh, but fortunately, when the moon was at its brightest and at its highest, um, around 10.30, 10.40 p.m., the cloud cover moved away and it was a beautiful, bright, clear sky. Almost a bright blue sky. It was a bright black sky, if that makes sense. But it was beautiful. It was illuminated. It was wonderful. A lot of good energy out there. And it was great just spending time to connect with the sacred, connect with the ancestors, and do the thing that I do um, in, in my own way. I hope you guys had the opportunity to do something as well, um, because it is an important time right now. Um, like I said before, given the pandemic situation that's going on, um, got to take in as much as we can that, that is good and use it to um, build a, a better life for us right now. A lot of people are stuck inside and getting, you know, feeling anxiety and depression and all this type of stuff that really, really hurts uh, your spiritual growth. So I hope that you all had the opportunity to do something that helped uh, bolster and uh, improve your spirituality in your, in your own way. So before we end the video, like I mentioned before, the rune set that um, I, uh, I mentioned it was a, a birch rune set, um, a miniature birch discs. Um, I'll probably put a picture up for you guys to see at the end of the video. Um, but these runes were uh, very, very special, and this is a rune set that I'm only offering one time um, for sale. So it's one person gets it, and there's no, there's not going to be anything else like it ever again because these runes um, were made during the full moon cycle and were, you could say, charged or left out to absorb the full moon light. Um, and they were there was there was some ritual work done to bless the runes, which I never do um, normally. So. They are very special. Um, I can go into more details for whoever wants to know. Um, if you guys have any questions and want to ask me about it, I want you to come and hang out with me here on the YouTube channel Friday night. Um, I will announce later on somewhere, uh, probably on Facebook or somewhere here in the community section of the page or of the channel, uh, roughly what time. Probably going to be somewhere around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time, which would be 8 o'clock Eastern. Adjust the time frame wherever you are in the world. Um, but sometime Friday night, come hang out with me live here on the YouTube channel and I'll answer any questions that you have, including what, uh, what, what went into the blessing, if you will, or the, the, uh, the creation of these rooms. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I said it was going to be a short one. Obviously, it's not quite so short, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back and watch more content. Uh, the next video that I upload is going to be sort of a off the coattails of the last series, talking about the, co the parts of self. Um, so that'll be uploaded sometime on Sunday night uh, or early Monday morning, depending on where you are in the world. And uh, there we have it. So thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more people to see this stuff and you want to see more stuff like it, comment down below, share the videos around, and don't forget to subscribe. Hail, thank you all. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you next time.